Hello listeners, welcome to Crack the Wellness Code podcast, a space where we discuss all things health and wellness. This podcast aims to educate, inspire, empower and impact thereby leaving you feeling uplifted. Happy listening. What about social networks of South Asians? So we asked people who was in their social network, who they talked to most frequently. We asked them names of the people who they, you know, communicated with and then their relationship with them. Were they family members? Were they friends? Were they South Asian? Were they non-South Asian? And what we found was that South Asians have very large social networks and they're mostly comprised of people in their own family. About 72% of their social networks come from their family members and also other South Asians. So out of everyone in their network, there's almost 88% are South Asian in their network. And that's, again, this is a you know first generation immigrant group of people between age 40 and 85. So it makes sense to me that they are associating more with family and other South Asians. There's emotional closeness with the uh, network members and people who felt that closeness had better self-rated health. They felt like their health was better when they had the closeness with their members. Having more family members in their network was also associated with having more health discussions. People were more, you know, tuned in to everybody's, you know, health. And then belonging to religious and spiritual organizations was also perceived as being beneficial to health. Here's one thing that we found that we, you know, we weren't sure uh, whether this would be true, but 70% of the South Asians in our study described their adult children as being role models for them, that the health behaviors that their adult children have for diet and exercise are really influencing their own behavior. So the adult children who are eating uncooked veggies or fresh fruit daily, the diet quality of the parents who are in our study was actually better because they were being influenced by their adult children. And so the adult children who were following physical activity guidelines and getting you know 150 minutes of exercise per week, their parents were also doing that. So that is really interesting because in many cultures, um, it's often the parents who have this influence on their kids but what we're seeing here in our immigrant population is that these, you know, second generation South Asians who have been born and grown up here are really helping their parents to adopt kind of a healthier lifestyle behavior, probably becoming a little bit more bicultural. So what about the effect of your social network on physical activity? So I said, you know, the adult children can influence uh, parents' physical activity, but turns out so can your exercise partner but it's different for men and women. So when men exercise with friends who are not their spouses, they actually exercise more. They have a greater number of steps that they take. When a woman exercises with her spouse, who's her exercise partner, she has more steps. So for the man, it seems like he he gets more energy exercising with other men, uh, whereas uh, women uh, seem to get more energy exercising with their partner, uh, their their spouse. So that, that was kind of interesting because uh, we didn't expect there to be this big difference. That wraps up today's edition of Crack the Wellness Code podcast. If you want to know more about this episode and many such archive pleasures, then make sure you download our CWC Kushi app, available both in app and Play Store. Thank you for listening. 